Okay, everybody, Tusk finally got a rework. By the way, if you had the old Tusk, it, uh, it kind of got removed, so you got to get this new one. Sorry. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that most of you know this, but I'm going to say it anyways. There's a Tusk 1, there's a Tusk 2, there's a Tusk 3, and a Tusk 4. Also, there's a new NPC near the Coliseum, and apparently it's it's Jesus. All right, first of all, uh, before we get into Tusk, I'm going to go find this new NPC just to see what he does. Oh, ho, ho, I think I found him right here. Um... Okay, so I know that Kerr is supposed to be Jesus in this, uh, thing, but I don't think his arms are supposed to fall off his body. Alright, anyways, uh, despite how great he looks today, um, I'm not really sure what he does. Okay, um, we'll just come back to that later. Alright, so first of all, there's going to be a few items that we're going to need to get all the way to Tusk Act 4. To start off with, we're going to have to wait for something called the Devil's Palm to spawn in. It has a 1 in 3rd chance to spawn in every 10 minutes, and if you touch it as a standlish, you will get Tusk Act 1. Now, to get Tusk Act 2, you need an item called Satan's Left Arm. Now, if you use that on Tusk Act 1, you get Tusk Act 2. Uh, let me get up here, please. To get Tusk Act 3, you actually need to use your Tusk Act 2, and you need to go to that Cur Jesus thingy, and then you have to click it. Now, to get the final product, which is Tusk Act 4, you actually gonna need Tusk Act 3, of course. And then you actually need the spin item. And what you need to do is hold it and run around with your horse and uh, keep running until it auto-transforms you, and... Why is there a bouncing meteor over there? It's only been seven minutes. Okay. By the way, spin actually has a spawn rate of uh, 1 in 30 chance every 10 minutes. All right. Well, uh, I've said what I said. So now I'm just going to wait until uh, the first item that we need spawns and I'll show you all the tusks. All right. So apparently this right here is the devil's palm. Um, I didn't think that this was supposed to be a palm, but what? what? It despawns. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I didn't know that it could despawn. Okay, I made it. Okay, click it. There we go. All right, I'm not even going to lie. I don't know much about Tusk because I haven't read the manga. Uh, trust me, I do not read the manga. I only watch the anime. Deal with it. Okay, so when I pull out the stand, um, okay, Tusk Act One. Why was it a lot smaller than I thought it would be? Also, I really like the crawl when I'm on the floor. This is a uh, <laughs> very nice. All right, anyways, I wasn't actually able to find any like a uh, an ability list or anything, so we're just gonna have to go based off what we know. All right, anyways, let's start off with the E ability. So, um. Okay, okay, that looks like I have to aim it, so I'm just gonna stand back here and try it. Okay, uh, yeah, I think I hold that down. Okay, yeah, I definitely have to hold that down. Let me try this again, but holding it down. Okay, yeah, I definitely have to hold it down. And it does, uh, three ticks worth of damage. Not that great of damage, but it's alright. Alright, next up, the R ability. Um, okay, I don't think anything's happening for the R ability. Alright, any left click? Nope. Alright, what about a T? Okay, it is. It's, so I guess it's like that, but a uh, harder hit. Alright, any Y ability? Alright, did 80 damage. Uh, very nice. Alright, what about the U? Any heals? Um, doesn't look like it. Alright, so I got myself a little lower HP just in case it did heal or something. But so far, I don't see anything for the U. Um, alright. What about the F ability? What does that do? <laughs> Oh, that healed me, actually. I'm really not sure what the cooldown for that is. I drink some very delicious tea, it seems. Alright, so I'm gonna start off at 278 HP, then I'm going to heal. Alright, so that got me up to 328. Alright, so that healed about 50 HP. Alright, next up, I'm going to press G. What does G do? Any G for that? Any pose or anything? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Also, I'm pressing P as well. No pose, no pose. All right, and let's press H. Nanny H. Um, I don't think there's an H ability. Oh, also, by the way, these things are broken right now, so that doesn't pop up. Okay, that was a really loud quote. Oh my goodness. All right, so he has that. Okay. 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 Shut up. Shut. Uh, okay, next is the B. Okay, no B, no V. Oh, yeah, he also has a horse, obviously. So, uh, for that, you have to press Z. Okay, so I just read something. Uh, apparently, if you press left alt, it'll make it go faster. Okay, yeah. Also, this little bar down here has something to do with these, uh, the shots that it does. Um, I guess that you can only do a certain amount until you can't do it anymore, and then it has to refresh. Anyways, I guess I'll see you guys when I'm able to get Tusk Act 2. Alright, so the arm finally spawned in. Alright, anyways, let's just go ahead and use this. Alright, so right off the bat, there's no left click just like the other one. Um, the ability is like exactly the same. Um, 
Still no R ability. Yeah, there's no R ability. Um, T. Okay. That was Y. Oh, that one was a little different. All right, then the heal for Tusk Guy 2 actually heals uh, 70 HP. All right, and the poses for Tusk Guy 2. Okay, so he just says those two things apparently. All right, now moving on to Tusk Act 3. All right, now to get Tusk Act 3, all we're gonna need to do is come over here to um, Kerr and we just click him. All right, no left click on um, the E ability. Okay, so it's like the one, the same ones from the past, but it actually does a lot more damage. Okay, no R, but the T. All right, but the thing that I actually do like about Tusk Act 3 is actually his wormhole ability. So when you press B, you actually go underground and you can like just, just travel around with it. It's like so convenient. And then when you press B again, you just pop up out and then you're just like, hey, what's up? All right, and getting out of the wormhole, I'm not really too sure on how to do that. Yeah, I'm not really too sure on how to get out of it guaranteed. I mean, like, all I did was just press V a few times until I eventually got out. But, um, <laughs> don't go on my word for that. Also, the heal for Tusk Act 3 heals... 90 HP. All right, very nice. Oh, I just realized about these little wormholes. They, like, bounce off of stuff. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, and it bounces, like, towards the nearest target. Very nice. All right, and for the quotes. All right, so I think he only has one quote because I tried it out a few times and I only got one, and this is what it was. Um, all right, then. I guess I'll just see you guys once I'm able to finally get Tusk Act 4. And now the final item that we need is right here. It's a little steel ball. You see it right there? And the steel ball is called spin. So once you use your spin on your Tusk Act 3, you get Tusk Act 4. All right, and for this to work, what we need to do is uh, just run around fast, as you said earlier. And um, it should just automatically transform. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, so we finally got Tusk Act 4. All right, so we pull out. Oh, wow. Wow, that's a really wide stand. Okay, I really thought he would have had a left click, but apparently they do not. All right, let's start with the E ability. Um, oh. Oh, the AOE. Oh my gosh, that's really good. Okay, so, okay, yeah, I can definitely just do the cursor thing like it does with Golden Experience Requiem. That's really cool. Okay, this one actually does have an R ability. Fantastic, finally. So it's just a strong punch, has like 150 damage. I'll do it again. There you go. Also, I believe that it can also do the cursor thing, so I'll show you guys this. There you go. All right, next up is the T ability. Um, okay, I don't think that he has a T ability. Why? No why. Okay. All right, what about a U? Okay, he does have a U. Okay, it's that, it's that cool bounce thingy. I'll show it to you guys again. Yeah, see, it's that really cool bounce thingy. All right, next up is H. No H ability. Okay, G. Oh, it is like a wormhole over there. Wormhole barrage. Okay, okay, this is actually really cool. I may not read the manga, but I do like the stance. All right, now, if you press B, you actually do heal quite a bit. And to be more specific, it heals exactly 100 HP. All right, now, the F ability is basically like a wormhole, but except you go inside the wormhole. And you hit them, and it is like 100 damage. Also, this one does have a pulse, finally. A stand that actually has a pulse. All right, so I'll go ahead and press P. Oh. All right, gonna turn that off before I get copyrighted. By the way, when you're low HP and uh, you get on your little horse boy right here, and you aim your cursor and you press T, you'll actually be able to do the, um, the beatdown attack. Things a little glitched right now, though. I did it earlier, and, um, it's not really doing that much damage. Um, alright then. Uh, moving on, I guess. Alright, so when you're close enough to somebody, you can actually do the tusk grab, which, uh, Wow, that's a lot of damage. All right, now to do infinite rotation, you're actually going to have to be on your horse. All right, anyways, I'll go ahead and aim my cursor. I'll press Y. Okay. Thought it was going to look a little more 
interesting than that, but it's quite okay. Alright, then, yeah, besides that, all we really have are the quotes, so, uh. Okay, very loud as usual. That must be what those things are called that I shot at. Alright, I guess those are all of the quotes. Oh my goodness, this video took so long to record. Anyways, that's about it for this little Tusk video, so I guess I'll just see you all next time. Adios.